Hi, I'm Trisha Babushkin, and I'm excited to share my use case with you as part of the new video series, Share Your Story with Moment Marketers. Currently, I'm the Senior Strategic Consultant at ListEngage, a longtime Salesforce partner, and I'm absolutely passionate about email and the ability to connect customers with companies in an engaging and thoughtful way. I believe fervently in using data to find the moments that matter to meet customers where they are and put them in the center of our marketing efforts. And that's what made me get named a marketing champion for Salesforce in 2020. So let's get into the use case. I want to show you how we built essentially an always on reactivation campaign without being an explicit reactivation campaign. So the situation is there's a large database of names, most of which were recently acquired through some additional paid media and some external partnerships. Unfortunately, a large percentage of these new people were unengaged. So we had to have a creative way to email these unengaged people, but at a lesser cadence than the regular engaged people. The Email campaigns are going out essentially on a monthly or a bi-weekly basis. And with that meant that we needed to cut down how frequently the unengaged audience was sent. But instead of dropping a huge file of people that were unengaged once every quarter to a single send, we really wanted to dribble them out over time and allow there to be always a smaller but a percentage of unengaged people in every single send without making the marketer choose which email was the most important or the most worthy to get a large unengaged audience. It also prevented spikes with the mailbox providers, which they prefer for good deliverability. So essentially what we did was created three distinct buckets within our total active audience. Now the first bucket is pretty obvious. It's the engaged people, the ones that we actively want to send to. This is the email best practice group of people that are engaging regularly with the brand and we don't want to stop their cadence or slow them down. We have a small set of people that are new. So beyond the first welcome, you want to send them a couple of emails with the regular cadence to see if they will develop a relationship and become part of this cream of the crop engaged group. So those people would get mailed every time we send an email until they reach that point where we determine that they're unengaged. Now, in this case, we used an unengaged metric of haven't opened or clicked an email in the last six months. But that's because of the cadence of this particular client. Now, the unengaged group needed to be mailed less frequent, frequently. But what we wanted to do was take a percentage of them, one third, and put them and seed them into every send. And we used the last send date to make sure that these people had essentially a quarter between every one of their sends. Now, this is what it looks like in words, but that's what the journey looked like. We essentially built tracks and we passed people to and from the different tracks based on their engagement. And you either went to a slower cadence or a faster cadence, depending on if you engaged with the email. And we determined that you were interested in the types of information we were sending. Now, the win in this is that the mailbox providers like it because it's consistent mail volume with a consistently high percentage of engaged subscribers. So better inbox placement means higher open rates when we're using open rates, but ultimately what we really care about is traffic to our website and those clicks go up too. So I hope you found this high level interesting and informative as to how you can seed in unengaged people into active campaigns and ultimately it creates essentially a de facto re-engagement campaign without actively having a re-engagement campaign because you're constantly keeping top of mind even as you're slowing down the cadence for the unengaged. Thank you for listening to my use case. And I hope you learned a little bit about how to address unengaged people in your email list.